Hello investors, this is Mark de Maisel again, now a video about Next. Uh, so I decided to allocate the, uh, equally uh, as much money to Next as to Bitcoin, uh, 30% each. Uh, why? Well, of course, I think the risk-reward ratio of Next is much better than the risk-reward ratio of Bitcoin. But um, there is another reason too. Uh, well, uh, I'll first explain that. So I think Next is better than Bitcoin architecturally. Uh, uh, so the potential, I think, for Next to go become more valuable than Bitcoin is there. It's only a potential. It's not going to happen uh, for sure and not at all, but that's the potential. So that means from here, since uh, Next is valued at 30 million uh, and uh, Bitcoin at 5 billion, that means that... Uh, uh, next needs to go up uh, 130 or 150 times uh, for it to go to same the same valuation as Bitcoin. And since Next actually is more valuable technically, uh, more valuable than Bitcoin, not marketing-wise, nobody knows about Next, everybody knows about Bitcoin. So uh, marketing-wise, Next is worth almost nothing. But technically, uh, the way the software works, uh, it is much better built as Bitcoin. And so, technically, I would say it's 10 times more valuable than Bitcoin. Uh, so, basically, the potential reward is 10 times higher than what Bitcoin is valued now. Uh, and so, that means it needs to not 150-fold, but 1,500-fold. That's the potential. Eh? Um, what's the risk? The risk is also much higher than Bitcoin. Everybody knows about Bitcoin. It's a sure thing to, to basically, in my opinion, to uh, invest in Bitcoin because everybody knows about it. So it's only a matter of time before people uh, put money in, uh, uh, into it. But with Next, that's not the case at all. Next did not uh, gain mind share uh, as Bitcoin has. So uh, competitors, and there are some, um, may uh, win the race uh, and actually are uh, doing just that um, when it comes to mindshare people know about Mastercoin and so the competitors are um, in uh, Ripple uh, because they are uh, also decentralized asset exchange Ripple um, Mastercoin uh, BitShares um, and now also Counterparty uh, those are four competitors of Next, uh, and uh, except Counterparty, all the others are more known. And people know about Ripple, though they fucked up their reputation pretty bad, but mm, yeah, they are more known. But it's, I don't think it's a real competitor for Next because it's a centralized currency, it seems, and there is a company backing it, and, and, and uh, I don't think it's... And, and they control the money supply, uh, so... Uh, I don't think that's 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 a real competitor. But Mastercoin definitely is a real competitor because uh, they do the same as Next. Uh, they, they actually, I heard, I haven't seen, but I heard they have also an operational uh, asset exchange now, decentralized one. But they are built on the Bitcoin protocol. So that's a serious competitor, I think. And then um, you have um, big shares. I don't understand that fully. Uh, and you also have counterparty. I must admit, I haven't studied them decently. Uh, that's why I'm going to buy them all. Uh, uh, that's called the Duck Index, uh, which contains all of them next as well. You can find it at duckindex.com. This is made by Adam B. Levine from Let's Talk Bitcoin. Uh, he really believes that uh, these uh, the coins in the Duck Index are actually the ones with uh, a lot of potential. Uh, and uh, I agree with him because those are truly second generation cryptocurrencies, meaning they offer something more than Bitcoin does. Eh? Litecoin, Peercoin, they all do the same uh, as Bitcoin. Dogecoin is the same as Bitcoin. Eh? Uh, they don't offer anything more. But the DAC index, all these coins, uh, they do offer something more. Um, so I'm going to just put 10% of my portfolio in the DAC index because, well, I'm a lazy and uh, I haven't gotten to uh, uh, in, uh, studying the competition decently um, and uh, I just, it's just an insurance uh, uh, for my lack of knowledge about it. Maybe a competitor is better than next and I just don't know, so I just buy them all. Uh, but with a small uh, amount of my portfolio. Um, 
that's the plan. But why uh, uh, will I invest 30% uh, into next of my portfolio and 30% in Bitcoin? Uh, why the same? Well, um, I think that, uh, of course, it should invest more in X because the risk reward ratio is higher, but uh, I don't dare to do that. That's all. So, so, so I, I'm not uh, fully rational. Uh, I also want to listen uh, to my uh, fears. Uh, those are not rational, but they are fears. And I, uh, a part of me really likes a sure thing, and Bitcoin for me is a sure thing, but next, not at all. So I do want uh, also a decent position in Bitcoin. Uh, but um, um, why do I dare to put the same amount uh, in uh, next that I put in Bitcoin? Because I think that's already courageous. But it's not because I'm so courageous. But it's because, well, uh, 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 it's just um, really justified. So um, I learned from a video from uh, World Bitcoin Network um, that he just published recently that uh, the 51% on Bitcoin uh, attack, the 51% attack, uh, you don't need 5% of the Bitcoin value. Uh, in my last video, I explained that I thought it was 5%. I explained that if Bitcoin is valued at 10 billion, for example, you only need 500 million uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to have 51% of the hashing power. And so you can take down Bitcoin with a 51% attack. But actually, he explained that you don't need 500 million. Uh, some people uh, estimate that you can do it already with 30, 40, 50 million. So that's 10 times less. So meaning you don't need 5% of the Bitcoin value. You can do it at 1, 2% of the Bitcoin value. You can, you can successfully do that. And then you can even add other things, like if it would be a government uh, uh, um, um, doing that, they use violence. So they can also take down some miners um, uh, which takes out some competition, so they need even less uh, uh, money uh, for their own miners. Um, so there are different ways to even lessen that. So, but basically, I was shocked to hear that a 51% attack is possible with an investment of only 30, 40, 50 million. Uh, when Bitcoin is valued 5 billion, that's only 1%. One, one, uh, one percent, uh, 2%, that's really nothing. So I, I think this will happen sooner or later. Uh, chances are very high that we will get a 51% attack on Bitcoin. And that will be really, really bad uh, because um, uh, people will panic, uh, just, justifiably so, uh, the, uh, when it's all, all over uh, the news that you can't transact, do transactions in Bitcoin. And... Um, that the, net, that the network is under attack and, and under a successful attack while well, people will sell off bitcoins the price of bitcoin will go down a lot uh, will it happen uh, I think chances are very high that it will happen that means it's not a certainty but it's likely is it going to happen sooner rather than later that I can't say I don't know um, you could say uh, it's easier now because you need less money now than when it would tenfold again. That's true, but then uh, the incentive to do it when it tenfolds becomes higher. So I don't. It could happen tomorrow, or it could happen only in a few years' time. But I think it will happen unless Bitcoin really changes something in the protocol, which I find also well. Uh, if that happens, I change my opinion. But until then, I. I uh, it's very vulnerable. So, um, but what will happen when uh, when when that happens? Will next also go down? The proof of stake coins, basically those that are not vulnerable to a, such an attack, will they go down as well? Uh, no, I don't think so, uh, because actually they will be operational. Uh, they will be. Uh, you can successfully transact in those uh, with those coins. So what will happen is that uh, bitcoiners will sell off bitcoin price will plummet. At the same time, uh, some of them will buy uh, next or other post coins, proof of stake coins, and uh, th those will go up in value and um, and um, and so um, I will be hatched. Eh? Um, so technically, I think. Uh, Marketing-wise, I think uh, uh, Bitcoin is a no-brainer. No it's a sure thing it will go up because so many people know about it. But technically, it's also a sure thing the thing will uh, 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 
suffer from a successful 51% attack sooner or later. Uh, so, and that's what Next has. Like, uh, Next doesn't have the, the sure thing about people knowing about it. No, but it does have the 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 strength of the network. Eh? You can't do a 51% attack there. Uh, allez. You can, but you need to buy so many next coins that the price will go up immensely. Uh, and um, so, so I think uh, that's why I also want 30% next. Next really is, or another proof of stake coin, really is the future. Also, I got a lot of validation because I'm following all Bitcoiners on the Bitcoin Talk Forum. I'm, I have 10, 10 or, or 20 people that I read all their posts because I admire them. And I noticed that uh, some of them really start to look into proof of stake. It does make sense for them too. Not because I advertise it to them. No, it, they just come to that same conclusion. Uh, but uh, one of them, for example, Slippery Slope, he tries to, um, he tries to uh, uh, convince Bitcoin developers to uh, implement proof of stake into Bitcoin. Um, so, so that also validates uh, to me that... Uh, that it is a really important concept and there is a lot of truth there. There is much uh, better architecture for a cryptocurrency. Also, the, uh, I'm so impressed by what I see happening in Next. Uh, the, the new client, uh, the Wesley client, that is also now the, now the standard client, looks really beautiful. It's, a, it's an application, you install it on Windows it's, uh, uh, and it looks really beautiful. Um, just download the next client, uh, just take next clients and download that and you can Windows or Mac and you install it, you open it up, it looks beautiful, you put in, you create an account, click and you have your account, it looks really beautiful and today also the asset exchange was uh, launched or yesterday, so I mean the test version is now done, now it's for real in the client, eh? so, so, but it all seems to happen. Also, I started forging, so uh, they also just launched least forging because I'm not gonna forge, meaning mining. Eh? Like, do you have to have your computer on all the time? And um, I don't do that. Uh, but now you, you can also do least forging, meaning you lease your coins to someone else, but you don't lease them for real. They don't own your coins. They don't have control over your coins. They can't, like use your coins, but they do get your forging power, and so they are forging with your coins, and they get the income from the forging, but then they distribute it to you, you have to trust them for that, but you only trust them with the income, not with your own coins, and uh, I did that, and indeed uh, it started, uh, so I find this also ingenious, and um, that means that the next network will, um, a lot more people, a lot more coins will start to be used to secure the network, and so that means that a 51% attack, you require more and more coins because let's say only 10% of the coins are forging. That means only 10% of the coins are securing the network. That means that you only need 5% of the coins to do a 51% attack. Yeah? But for example, right now I think it's 20 or maybe 30% of the coins are forging. But now we have this least forging. And so a lot of people are joining pools and a lot more coins start to forge, so I think probably will go up to 40%, maybe 50, 60% of the total amount of coins are forging, and that means that you buy, have to buy 30% of the coins to do a successful 51% attack. So, um, yeah. Mm. So, 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 what I see is, is really uh, great, and I think if I buy 30% in next 30% Bitcoin, very likely I think next will go up more than Bitcoin over the coming year, and uh, and then my position in next will be bigger as Bitcoin, and then I can leave that because I think that's even justified. Um. So yeah, that was it. Um. um thanks so much for watching, uh, and uh, talk again later. Bye.